How can you be confident? If you can be more confident, do you think you can achieve more? Because you will have the confidence to talk to customers, talk to the girl that you like, uh, you know, whatever it it is that you desire to do. Uh, if you have the confidence, do you believe you will get more done? Do you believe you will get more results uh, achieved? Um, but the question is, how do you build confidence? Um, how do you build confidence? So I see a lot of the people that, that, that join my organization, especially in sales. Uh, maybe this is their first sales job. And they come in and they get their very short training uh, and we put them on the phone, right? It's, it's a sales job. You have to talk to prospects. And often we see is that they're scared. They, they start finding excuses. They say, well, well there's not enough training. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, you no, know, they start giving themselves excuses not to make those phone calls because they don't have confidence how to do their job. But actually, it's not even that. They are scared to make those phone calls. I'll give you another example. Uh, let's say there's a girl that you like, maybe at work, maybe at school, but she's, let's say, very beautiful and she's funny and she's talkative and she's very sociable and, you know, a lot of people like her and you like her too, but you are scared, scared to go up to her and say, hey, what's up? My name is so and so, you know? Why? Why is that? Because people are scared of failure. Ultimately, people do not have confidence like you, fucked hard. It's because you are scared to fail. You're scared when you pick up the phone and dial that first customer, that first customer is going to say no to you. You're scared that when you walk up to that girl and that girl is going to say, no, uh, I just want to be your friend. Uh, I'm not interested. You know? You are scared. You're scared to take action and that shows up as not having confidence. Again, I'll say this again. You're scared to take action because you are scared to fail. That's why it shows up as not having confidence. When you're not confident, that means you're scared to fail. So what if I tell you that, you know, what if you're not afraid of failure? Let's say you're not afraid. Let's say you're not scared that the girl says no to you. You're not scared if the customer says no to you. You're not scared about the outcome. And none of those outcomes are terrible. If the girl says no to you, it's not the end of the fucking world. If the prospect says no to you, it's not the fucking end of the world and you don't fucking die. So what are you fucking scared of? Remove the fear and you'll be confident. And realize nobody dies. The world does not come to an end. And everything is just fine. Just take the fucking action. Right? Just take the fucking action. Just do it. Regardless of the outcome. If the girl says no to you, great. What's the next step? If the first customer says no to you, Great, what's the next step? Talk to the next customer or think about how do you, what the customer said and adjust your strategy, right? You don't have confidence because you're scared of failure. Remove the fear of failure and you will be confident. So act as if you know how to do it, act as if you know, you know how to close the customer. Act if it's as if she's already your girlfriend. Thought becomes reality. So if you believe it's going to happen, it, it probably will happen. So if you believe it's going to happen, it's going to be easier for you to take that action. If you believe that she's going to reject you or if the customer is going to say no to you, it's harder for you to take action. And when you don't take action, that means you, that's going to show up as not having confidence. Do you understand? Lack of confidence equals you 
are scared to fail, and that is fucking stupid because your failure does not cause the world to end, and you're not gonna die. So what are you scared of? Take fucking action, and don't be a fucktard.